I'm Will from Alpha Watch and in today's video I'm going to show you how to strike the throat. There's several ways of doing it. It's, uh, it's a dangerous move but it's very, very effective. Obviously you wouldn't use it on 90 year old Doris. Um, you'd use it on someone, a, a bigger opponent or a more severe threat, you know, if they've got a knife or, or, or whatever. Um, so as I say, if we've got a fence guard up, we can use a nice quick bridge hand straight into the neck and we're using the the solid part of our hand going straight into the neck. We can also use an open hand here as it comes forward and what you do on this one would be you strike it and you draw it back. Obviously you can do that also off the left but if you think your front hand would do the uh, the rear chop and then this would come in here you can link it up so if you wanted a nice quick into the throat your rear hand could come in palm hill you know you could link it up into um, a nice quick three combo so you're going into the throat palm healing striking the groin maybe When you do it, as I say, you're, you're chopping in, palm healing, groin strike. From here again, we can come around. This is another chop to the side of the neck. We can do it with our front hand, more like a karate style chop. It come in from the rear, or we can get off the rear hand here. Oops. Either way, notice how no matter what hand I do it with, there's always one up protecting the rear, protecting my face. Because if they were to throw any shots in, it's there to block. So again, we can go straight in. We're a chop forward towards the front of the neck. We can go down onto the side of the neck. Okay, so all quite effective. And again, you can use your open hand. So using between the thumb and the first finger to strike in between the neck. I'd say you can use it to link in strike. So if you were to hit the very first palm heel into the groin, you can strike here and then control the head. So straight in, control, elbow, hammer, fist, palm heel, so on and so forth. Uh, an option I prefer is to send the entire of the forearm in, so like a, a forearm jam. So from our position here, we'd launch the forearm in. From here I can strike the eyes, palm heel the face, hammer fist the face. I can control to the side, start hammer fist in, elbow in, control here. Same thing again, start striking in. Yeah, so we've got all these different combinations. When we control the head, we control the body. So if I'm forcing them away, I'm opening up the neck so I can strike into the neck here or under the nose. If I pull into the side, I've got my hammer fists, slap, elbow. So from this side, hammer fists, slaps, elbows. It's all about range, uh, the opponent as well, how they're open. If they've got a guard up, you may have to break the guard and then this is the chop you'd go for because you wouldn't be able to reach an outside chop if they had a guard up. So again, break the guard, chop him. Same as if you wanted to go more linear, you wouldn't use these outer strikes. You'd either go straight in with the open hand or in with the ridge. So it's situational dependent, um, but they're good to practice. I say they're good to start linking in with your shots as you're practicing. Um, so no matter what the combination will be, just start building it in. Um, as I say, wouldn't solely rely on it. If the threat's that, that great, so if they've got a knife, you wouldn't just try striking in the throat and then preparing. 
you'd strike and follow up and just start smashing through. By hitting the throat front on, you can close up the windpipe, they'll have extreme difficulty breathing. Hitting them on the side of the neck, you can cause a knockout. It's not always guaranteed, so don't just go for it as I say as a as a one hit one looking uh, looking to knock them out from it. Look at it as an opening. Yeah, to do other things. So practice some combinations. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll get more videos when they pop up.